Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3727 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 15 moves to collect three ingredients. I see one here, and we have to get it anywhere down here, but the next are going to come from one of these dispensers that is currently blocked by frosting. And we only have 15 moves. We do have a... Um, bobber or two which can help us if we can make specials that will uh, hit these and send out fish from the bobbers to nibble away at things. How do I draw this down first though? I think that's the the primary goal right now. I don't have a lot of green on the board so I'd take out green if I could. I think orange is my next target color, leaving the purple behind because I feel like there's a lot of purple. Now unfortunately we also have some toffee swirls coming from these dispensers and licorice swirls coming from these dispensers. Not very helpful. These aren't nearly as much of a problem as these in my opinion. But this would make a special for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and see where that might lead. Yeah, I'm regretting that choice now. I think I should have taken out one of these. I need to draw this down and I need to start uh, hacking away at some of these, which is why I was hoping that maybe I could use the special to get a fish. But if the special is um, kind of isolated from the bobber by the licorice swirls that doesn't help much. So I'm already kind of modifying my approach here. Now we've got a couple of stripes that look like they're going to be good not only to bring this down as I ignite them but also to hack away at some of that frosting. Let's see if that'll be helpful. Okay so we almost have this frosting clear. There we go, close close, there we go. So there's that next ingredient but it's on a conveyor belt it looks like it's going to end here and then pick up back over here because here's purple again. I'm thinking that is what happens. So while all of that is occurring, I'm going to work on... Oh, look, I was able to slide it out. Probably better. We'll see. It might have been better just to have it come out here naturally. It looks like I probably will not get another ingredient on the board until I get this collected. Oh, that purple just ran away from me. Let's make a stripe at least. I can't ignite the stripe. I feel like I'm going in about 14 different directions at once instead of focusing on my primary objective of getting these ingredients down. So now here we go. Not quite enough to be able to pull this all the way down, but I do see the mechanics of it. And I see that the bobbers probably won't be helpful. I always play the board. So if I do get some wonderful setup where uh, I can hit these and send out the fish. I will go for it. But I shouldn't say I always play the board. I always try to play the board, meaning I try to take advantage of the good things that are on the board. I don't go with one certain strategy if it looks like another one is going to present itself as a better opportunity on the board. So I'm not going to go for the bobber strategy. I'm going to go for taking out these licorice swirls and sometimes these toffee swirls and making specials down here to help me. But if the board presents an opportunity for me to hit these, I'm not going to pass it up. I'm not going to be so strict to the strategy that I don't play what the board is giving me. So I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to come back with a new board with that strategy of ignoring these guys and focusing on this center here and without a microphone though until I have something else important to say. Be right back.
Okay, so that last move was really spectacular and a little bit unexpected that the ingredient would be able to work its way all the way down. Thankfully, I was able to make enough chaos and get enough luck that that actually happened. And that's the kind of thing that we have to shoot for. We have to clear the path for as much luck as possible. I think my idea of working towards the center, although not always at the center, was valuable because the way those ingredients flow out, we have to get them to flow just the right way. The more we play, win or lose, the better we understand the board. The good news is that took me less than five tries to get it done. Well, actually, I think it might have been my fifth try. It was my fourth or my fifth try. It was one block of lives. I hadn't used up all my lives yet. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.